Okay, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can do data exchange between between your host system. In my case, it's Linux here and the QEMU Windows um, virtual machine here. I want to have Windows access to my home folder here. And in this video, I will show you how to do that. There's also a blog post available here. Uh, it's available in German and English. I will put the link in the video description so you can read everything I describe here in this video in this blog post. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first, what we need to do first? Well, um, we want to share this folder here, home DR. Uh, so we open the virtual machine and go into settings. And here under memory, you have to activate shared memory, enable shared memory. You have to click apply, otherwise you will get an error in the next step. And the next step is we add a hardware. For hardware, we select file system, uh, we leave the driver as it is, word.io.fs, and in, as a source path, we enter the folder name we want to share with our virtual machine. We can also enter a name here for the target path in I will just use DR, DA, and we can also mark this file system as read only. Um, for read write access, I will just leave it at is and click finish. And basically that's it. Now we start the virtual machine. But before we do that, we will install an additional daemon or service here on Linux. Otherwise, you will get an error. So if you have not installed word.io FSD, you need to do that. And here's how you do it. sudo apt install word.io FSD. I have already installed it. And well, that's it. Now we can start our virtual machine. Okay, in Windows, we need to install two items, two programs here. The first one is WinFSP, and the second one, if you have not done that yet, you have to install the guest editions here. I will put both links in the video description as well in, as into the blog post, so you just have to click the links. Okay, for WinFSP, uh, we will just download this one here, download the WinFSP installer. Here we go, should only take a few seconds. These windows here are unrelated, it was just some windows stuff. Okay, download is finished here. And here, you, here we go. I've downloaded WinFSP as well as the word IO guest tools here I mentioned before. Okay, WinFSP, we will just install it. You just have to start it and well then hit next, next, next. And this WinFSP driver is installed. Here we go. Okay, finish. And the next thing, I've already installed the guest tools, so it's a little bit different here. Uh, I would just hit repair. If you have not installed it, you just uh, install everything as the default settings, just hit next. Okay, once this is installed, we will now have to restart our virtual machine. And here we go, a few seconds. Okay, now we hit restart and restart the virtual machine. After we have restarted our virtual machine, the shared folder should appear here. Uh, but as you can see, it does not show up. So we open the service management or computer management and go to services here. My Windows is German, but open computer management or services and here you need to check the word IO FS service. And as you can see here, it's currently not running here. Uh, start type is manual. Uh, we set this to automatic and then we start the service. And once we have done that, the service is started. As you can see here, now there's an additional drive available here with the name we have given and the settings of the virtual machine. And if we double click it, we now can see this is our home folder from Linux and we can access all our data now from this virtual machine. And basically that's it. That's how you can share your data between your virtual machine and your Linux host system with just a few steps. Okay, as said, everything is available in this blog post and goodbye.